welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 Battle Boogaloo. And today, we've got some new mods to showcase. It's always a good day when we're back in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Uh, I actually went through and combed uh, through comments on the last video to give the victors of the previous Battle Royales their well and truly earned nicknames. So we have this one, Bamboo, who still got some of the scars on it. Oh, bless it. Uh, its infamy level has went down because I think that's just what happens generally as like dinosaurs stop fighting each other. Named by a rank. La Fugere, or Fugre, I think it is. Uh, which basically comes from, you know, bamboo being this, like, strong, plant yet it can sort of easy bend and sway in the breeze and stuff like that. So I thought that was a really cool idea. The nickname for the Changesaurus is Cheerio. And this was basically by somebody who managed to uh, timestamp uh, Changesaurus's rise to glory all the way. And even their name was Q-Rex. So I thought, well... You know what? They put so much time and dedication into it. May as well name it after them. And the pro Ceratosaurus is called Sneak. Why? Because, well, it was one of the top voted names. He also named all the other dinosaurs. But I was like, huh, everyone really wanted to name the Stegosaur and the Changesaurus, but not really the pro Ceratosaurus. Bless it. And I think maybe we Sneak works because it kind of snuck under the radar. Yeah. So with this incoming battle royale, we have every incubation station ready and set. So much so, we've even got like dinosaurs that I've had to release because, well, there just wasn't enough space in the whole uh, the incubator thing. So without further ado, uh, let's just release them all and see what our contenders are looking like. And here we are in the battle arena with every dinosaur being released. Uh, we've got, of course, randomly generated colors, but we also have new dinosaurs like this Dinochirus, which I'm assuming is just resembling like a Spinosaur or something because it's kind of waddling like one or walking like one. It's not the Therizinosaurus, which is quite interesting. Yeah, that looks like a similar animation. But again, another lovely dinosaur to introduce into our battle arena, though we haven't had a single modded dinosaur win this yet so i'm kind of interested to see how this will go and here is a new mod as well this is the giga from i think um the warpath game if i remember correctly it's like the blue backed giga which had the huge um like weird mouth on it so that's really interesting i was thinking it was going to be the giga from um what's it called the lost world from playstation 1 but this is it from a different lost world game we got a lovely looking dreadnoughtus there with a nice mossy on the back but here is another new one this is the tarbosaurus from that camp cretaceous special that everybody or at least certain people were saying it was going to be so cool and it was going to so many different endings and i think really there was only like one or two endings i think it was just like oh you're gonna choose but they kind of just all lead to the same thing anyway it's like false false choosings you know whatever huh? anyway we do have that we also have oh there's they're both here oh wow okay so this they kind of look like werewolves especially that one looks kind of like a dog uh this one i think is the uteranus uh sporting very odd facial coloring lovely Ooh, the chiliantiosaurus <laughs> Has a very wolf-looking snout. I don't know what it is. It's 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 the the way the the snout inclines. Something like that. Yeah, something about the fact is it has its mouth open the whole time. A vibrant Therizinosaurus there. Oh, that Dimetrodon looks so cool. But we do have some other ones that are flying under the radar, like this, the Thelshadows. I think that's called Thelshadows. Yeah, basically just another hadrosaur, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Again, it's a shame about this game and it's low sunlight. I don't know why there we can't just have sun high in this sky. No, can't do that. Look at it. Its beak has weird serrations in it. I'm assuming they're to help strip uh, the plants or the leaves off plants, I'm assuming. But I also heard another new dinosaur here. Aha, do you look different? You do. We actually have like a legit Dilophosaurus. I think it's a lot bigger than the regular Dilophosaurus. And of course, it has those giant head crests. A nicer look at it running for its life. I'm assuming it's panicking yet. <laughs> and then it'll run out of stamina and be like, oh, I guess this will do. <laughs> oh, and there's the T-Rex we've got this time. We're sporting a colorings of Gambia River Basin and painting perfect green to uh, sort of hide and camouflage in with the rest of the swamp. Very interesting. Ah, there it is. I thought it just looked like an Edmontosaurus. The Ogrunalk. 
Ugar and Alok. Yes, this thing. But it's incredibly wide. It looks like a spaceship. Well, it's like a giant Mutaburosaurus or something. I don't know how well it's going to do. Maybe it will. Maybe there's something in the uh, the code or God knows what. But we'll see how it does. Oh, hold on. We've got the Spino as well. Yes. Ooh, weird pinky, purpley, bluish head there. Oh, wow. Chaplain Valley with Lithobites. Makes for an interesting Spino. Definitely, like, it's got OC vibes to it, 100%. Oh, Scorpius Rex as well. That looks cool, though. So without further ado, let's get this battle royale started to see who will be crowned champion and move on to the final royale with the previous champions. Who will be the first one to bite the dust? My bet's on... Para. I'm going to say Para is going to be the first one to go. Oh, a first dead dinosaur. And it is Herorosaurus being killed by Megalosaurus. Oh, we got a fight here. The previous winner, Proceratosaurus, versing the newly created Dilophosaurus. Oh, oh God. Oh God, no, Dilophosaurus dies. Damn it, I was hoping we'd see that somewhere in the future, but no, is it Proceratosaurus? Proceratosaurus won that one. Onto the middle cup. Not really small, but kind of in the middle. We got Baryonyx against Proto, well, not Proto, Pentaceratops, that's the one. Although, uh, Pendaceratops, not looking very good. You're supposed to be like the caribou or the moose of the herbivores, and you just die. God damn it. <laughs> Here's an interesting one. We've got Euteranus against Carnotaurus. Again, medium carnivores almost verging. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's right, because it's a modified dinosaur, isn't it? So it doesn't really have good animations. <laughs> so if it does manage to kill... Oh, no! Euteranus, no! Well, Toast wins that one. Will we see a Toast in the future? Ooh, that would be quite interesting. Again, not a single modded dinosaur has ever won. And by the... Ooh, that's a Maya, so that's okay. Will this be the first battle royale to show one? No. Triceratops against Taurusaur? I mean, I guess so. They're both Ceratopsids. But, I mean, really, you guys should save your strength. Unless one of you is just trying to get that experience. So when it does come to fighting carnivores, you're gonna be okay. And it doesn't look like Taurusaur. Oh, okay, well, there you go. That's that one done. It seems to be Peaceful Valley over here with the Acrocanthosaurus, a slightly wounded Brachiosaur, and the Ceratosaur just hiding in the corner. And here we have Indominus Rex taking out the Edmontosaurus. Oh, 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 and the Scorpius Rex is biting the leg of the Apatosaurus. Oh, we have Delta. Oh, that's interesting for the Velociraptors. Come on, Delta, you could do it. Oh, we've got Indoraptor. Lovely, deep, like sea green Indoraptor there. We've got Albertosaur. We've got Spinosaur, the, of course, the Tarbosaur, which is basically just like a more beefy T-Rex, apparently. Here we go, Dinochirus against the Changosaurus. This thing is like twice the height, probably three times the weight, but can it take it on? I don't know, do you even have teeth? I don't think you do. Oh, 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 goes for the first bite. Ooh, Dinochirus, could you do it? Could you be the first one to make it through? Oh, okay. Okay, showing scars. Is the Changosaurus showing scars? It doesn't really look like it, but again, another hit. And there we go. Looks like this isn't going to be a kill. It's going to be one of those where they both bite each other. And then by the looks of it, Daffy Duck itself is going to win this exchange. And it does! Oh, it doesn't even get bit twice. Yeah, it did win. You're going to roar. You're going to quack. We have Dilophosaur and Oranosaurus dead there. We have Apatosaurus dead. We have, oh no, what's that? Homalocephaly, wow, it made it. Proceratosaurus still here. Indominus slowly trying to chip away at the Mementosaur, and yep, definitely doing a good job of it. We've got a little mini cup here of the Deinonychus against the Australoviraptor, although they're not fighting to the death, always disappointing. We started with 89 land species and we're down to 71. Try to find those, those Hadrosaurs that are like mods. Wait, what are you going for? Did you just kill something? Oh no, did you just kill Struthiomimus? Struthiomimus. Oh no, you're hunting the Struthiomimus. I mean, is it gonna run out of stamina before the interrupt? It looks like it already has, and no, it did. Oh no, Pachyceratops against the tiny little Chunkosaurus. <laughs> Chunkingosaurus, no. Well, you know what? As long as one of you wins and you get stronger, that's all I care about. Oh, Carnotaurus against the, the, the werewolf dinosaur, the Chilionosaurus, whatever it's called. Paris still kicking. That's amazing. And Dryosaur. Whereas, you know, Dilophosaur didn't even make it that far. And, and what, what's that one called? 
the Archaeonithomimus as well. Now, who won this one? Uh, I have no idea. Just kind of ran away from each other. Fresh off the heels of victory, Dinochirus takes on the Spinosaur. Oh, no, it dies. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Okay, it, uh, it broke its neck in like five different ways. This one's a lot more terrifying than the one in Jurassic Park 3. Seems like Spinosaurs have a tendency to go for the neck breaking when it comes to combat. And here we go. Changosaurus against the Sinoceratops. And unfortunately, Sino is not going to win this one. We had a good show of it last time, but it looks like it's it's not going to make it very far. We have Delta against a custom Ostroraptor, but it doesn't look good for the Raptor. Are they going to call it quits? Oh, they are. Okay. Hopefully Delta can recover from that. And we got Iguanodon taking on Therizinosaurus. Oh! Therizinosaurus killed by Iguanodon. What? I mean, Iguanodon's one of the, like, hadrosaurs that can actually fight back, but did Therizinosaurus even, like, kill anyone? No. It just really didn't like the look of that turkey. Okay, now we've got the Indoraptor um, creating a chase between the Apache Cephalosaurus, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's, 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 it's lost. Yeah, it ran out of stam, and down it goes. And Scorpius Rex against the Majungasaur. A again, a dinosaur that I very rarely I see anyone even talk about in this game. And uh, very rarely do I even ever really see it making good headway in the Battle Royale. Oh, we got a T-Rex roaring an Allosaur. Again, two species we've barely seen. And Majungasaur is done. Two tail whips from the poisonous Scorpius Rex uh, quails on the tail and it is gone. Looks like T-Rex and also might have had just a roar off. But has T-Rex even made any kills here? It doesn't look like it's got any scars on it. Dinosaur countdown from 71 to 56. And has T-Rex even made any kills? Uh, no, it's actually lost one fight. That's very interesting. Indoraptor against the poor Nodosaurus here. But I don't think it's going to last very long. Um, and is it even down? Oh my god, did it even attack it? <laughs> Just looked at it and it fell over and collapsed. Whoa, wait, what? Kedrosaur killed by Polacanthus. Can we get a... I'm sorry, when you see a herbivore get a kill, it's it's a thing of beauty. And here we have Baryonyx against Carcharodonosaurus. We've seen Baryonyx win one fight. Haven't seen much of Carcharodonosaurus here, but maybe this could be its victory. Baryonyx already bucking a little bit rough around the edges. Spinosaur in the background there, just walking possibly to the Acrocanthosaurus. And it looks like it's a stalemate to this fight, but maybe this one, ooh, might lead to a death. Haven't seen Acrocanthosaurus really fight anything at all. Spinosaur has won against the Dinochirus, so that's interesting. Oh, the clash, an Acrocanthosaurus bleeding out heavily here. Spinosaur, oh, there it goes, goes for the kill. Okay, maybe this could be our first Apex Carnival in the finale. And while that was going on, T-Rex just won its fight against Changosaurus, leaving Changosaurus, I think, on... Wait, what? Stegosaur won some... Oh, God, what did you kill? What did you kill, Stegosaur? Oh, no, he killed Sinoceratops. What? You remember the last battle, Sinoceratops did so well. Oh, oh gets a bite off. Interesting. Um, we got Indominus Rex taking on the Alogamus, Al whatever it's called. Oh, the poison from the Scorpius Rex. But actually, the Megalosaurus is doing better, but it's a shame it's been poisoned. It really needs to finish off the battle now if it stands any chance of surviving. Uh, but, oh, wait, what's going on with the Spino? It was doing something odd there, and it seems like they've called off this fight. Um, Megalosaur has won, but I don't know how long it's going to last. Velociraptor is still in it, and so is Sauropelt, and so is the Atrociraptor, who's just, uh, well, running away like an absolute coward. Oh, Metricanthosaurus, what were you killed by, buddy? Killed by a Carcharodonosaurus. Always interesting to see. Uh, Pachyvinosaurus facing up against an Indoraptor. Never a good fight to see, really, here. Uh, Pachyvinosaurus is never any good. Uh, but you, you never can tell. Maybe an Indoraptor has taken a few hits from something. And Pachyvinosaurus is on full health. Um, but it, it really looks like Indoraptor's uh, scars are superficial. And uh, Pachyvinosaurus is... Oh, oh, saying that, though. You know, a, a little headbutt. May go far. We've also got Sukumimus over there in a poop skin. Very interesting. Oh, and it doesn't kill it, but it does win the fight. 
Oh, Baronix lost the fight to an Indominus Rex. And we've got a fight between Sora Pelta and Eupocephalus. And Sora Pelta has killed it. So we are getting some fights from the herbivores just against other herbivores, which is very interesting to see. No, Zudoceratops is still kicking. And I'm assuming Triceratops is still kicking. Styracosaurus also. But mainly the hits coming from the... Oh! is still here oh my god look at you here we go two combatants i have never seen fight yet the ankylosaur and alberta eyebrows or so and oh oh okay well there you have it ankylosaur the, the chonkiest of all the ankylosaur uh killed in one bite oh what a shame oh oh indominus rex takes down the other modern dinosaur no there's only a handful left now i think even maybe even just one the Mono against the Ostrovenator and Mono instantly dies to it. Ooh, we could see two winners here, actually. We could see a large dinosaur winning and then a small dinosaur possibly winning too. Changesaur killed by Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus now has three victories under its belt. And no losses. That's a good K to D. Oh, the Giga. No, the Giga died to an unknown. Maybe it bled out. I thought no Zootoceratops was dead there, but it's just lying down. A dinosaur roster now down to 39. A final battle between the Pachyrhinosaurus at 74% health and the Indoraptor at 100. I've played this game long enough to know how this one ends. I hope. <laughs> I said that last time and the Sinoceratops killed the Indominus Rex in one hit. So, I don't know. Things tell me that... Oh, it didn't kill it in one hit. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I, I still don't think it's going to win though. And there it is. The final hit. Another victory for Indoraptor. And now Megal Me Oh, Megasaurus! Oh, it's still got its bleed on, but it's just recovered. And against an Allosaur. Oh, they're both damaged. It's kind of an even fight here. We got Sukumimus against Scorpius Rex. And we've also got Iguanodon against T-Rex. Okay, we need to see this one. We got a lot of fights happening at the same time. But Iguanodon. Can it take on a T-Rex? This would be amazing if it could. Oh no, T-Rex just too powerful. Damn, I was kind of hoping. Is there any other way that could have finished? I don't think so. And because that battle was so quick, we can quickly catch up with the Scorpius Rex and Sukumimus. It looks like Sukumimus won that one. Oh, this one could be interesting. Ceratosaurus against Nozudoceratops. Now, Ceratosaurus I have not seen in the fight. Nozudoceratops has been in the fight against Triceratops, so it has more experience. And he even goes for the first hit. <laughs> My god, Ceratosaurus, what's wrong with you? I would have happened to the days of, like, uh, Bruton. No? Not gonna have that? Oh, no, it doesn't even kill it either. Looks like it's gotta be a stalemate. Oh, and Azutoceratops might win. Oh, is that another hit? Oh, Ceratosaurus looks a bit worse for wear, and it has lost to Azutoceratops. <laughs> And just as that disappointment of a fight has ended, we now have Indoraptor against Indominus Rex. But are they... Oh, nope, nope. Maybe they fought each other? I don't know. Sometimes they get a bit camera shy when, when I, I appear, so I don't know. And Scorpius Rex still going for the uh, Dreadnoughtus there. Tarvasaur, I haven't seen face up against anything yet. And that's it. It hasn't actually fought anything, which is very interesting. However, this is all about a change against this Albertosaurus. Tarbo and Albert, both relations of T-Rex, I'm pretty sure. Uh, except for one has been definitely um, vetted. Oh my god, Tarbosaur going down! No! I was gonna say, Tarbosaur looks way more intimidating and definitely designed for that more like marketable audience per se. But uh, no, Albert with the giant eyebrows has won. Okay, you've got no fights under your belt. Can you take on... Ceratosaurus, this will be very interesting. I, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if it kills it. <laughs> As in, Woohoosaurus, yes it did! I was gonna say, I wouldn't be surprised. Poor Ceratosaurus. Knocked from pillar to post, from dinosaur to dinosaur, and just didn't win. Oh, here we go, Indoraptor against Indominus. Indoraptor not looking too hot here. Is this gonna be the kill from Indominus? And it is! You hate to see it shook about like a ragdoll, but Indoraptor falls to the ground, lifeless and limp. Meaning that Indominus Rex has the highest chance now with its biggest competition out of there. 
four kills, seven fights, or seven free kills, I suppose? But an infamy level of level five, good god. Spinosaur back from its hiatus of kill streak to take on a Megalosaur, and I feel like, oh, yep, yep, I had a feeling Spinosaur was gonna win that. Undefeated, we got a lot of undefeated champions now. Stego still has its one kill and one victory. Oh my god. Really? A lower titan made it further than Indoraptor? <laughs> that is impressive! Damn, a dinosaur that definitely can't fight back. I think that might be the last herbivore that can't fight back that made it in. Well done. It made rank 28 out of 89, which is saying something. We've still got T-Rex, which I haven't really seen. The Albert as well as a bit of a wild card. Here we go. Car Car and Onosaurus against Carnotaurus. And Carnotaurus is one of those dinosaurs that's made a lot of kills. But in this kind of fight, it's kind of outmatched by its size. So we'll see how this goes. Carcharodontosaurus does get the first bite. And Carnotaur runs away. Yep, nope, yep. It just did one bite and then decided that's enough of that. And we've got Astrolovenator against Delta. But who will win this exchange? Astrolovenator has been undefeated, but can't kill Delta in one hit. Oh, no, it takes two. And there it goes. It's the red. It's the red. It's vicious. It wants the win. Oh, 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 here we go. Indominus Rex against T-Rex. Now, my bet's on Indominus Rex because I've definitely seen it make more kills. And it does get the first hit off, which is a sign that it is stronger. But you never can tell. T-Rex also gets a hit off. Uh, doesn't look like it marked Indominus Rex too much, though. T-Rex, yeah, definitely losing and loses that fight now. Can anyone else capitalize on that? That is the question. Woohoosaurus has been in a fight with something. I don't know what, blessed. Did it lose? Oh, it did lose. Something fought it and didn't win. Could have been Albert. Could have even been a Stego. Oh, Scorpius Rex died. What? Two Carcharodonosaurus. I didn't even see that. Never mind. Scorpius Rex wasn't killed by Carcharodonosaurus. It was killed by Carnotaurus. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, so Spino against Car Car here. I realize because Car Car on his horse's coat is CDS, and Spino making another kill. Oh, I think we're about to see our champion here. And here we go, the real car. Carnotaurus against Allosaur. But Carnotaurus has already been kind of damaged, but it does win. Oh my god. I am really. Oh, T Rex died to Indominus Rex there. Just caught the end of that one. I kind of want anything to win except for Indominus because otherwise it just feels like Indominus Rex just has like an advantage because it's a hybrid and it's meant to kill everything. I'd be happy with anything else winning. No way. No way. The company's still alive. It hasn't made any kills. Oh, but that's brilliant. Look at it go. I thought it would have been killed ages ago. Albertosaur against Indominus Rex. And I don't think it's looking good for Indominus Rex. I mean, sorry, Albertosaurus. It's looking good for Indominus Rex. Although you never can tell. Maybe. Oh my god, maybe. Just like that, Albertosaur can win it. Go for the first bite. Okay, Indominus Rex does retaliate, but doesn't seem to have done much damage. Yeah, look at that. No scars on Albertosaur there at all. Look at those. Look at that silhouette. It's a nightmare. Oh, Indominus Rex getting scared and activating its camo and running away. My goodness. Albertosaur wins that one. This could be it. This could be the game to upset so many Indominus Rex fans. <laughs> hey, he's already coming back to war though. Okay. It's because you're a sore loser, all right? Oh, I don't like this. No, Carnotaurus against Spino. Carnotaurus did win its last fight. But oh, Spino gets the first bite in. Not looking good for Kano. Is it going to be a kill in the next one? Spino always kills in the second hit. But Khan... No, not even Carnotaurus can face up against the Spino. How many kills has this thing got? Damn, it didn't even go for any of the herbivores, I think. Okay, Sukamimus against Indominus Rex. Oh, no! Indominus Rex is winning... I know that Sukumimus was on 100%, and I think Indominus Rex was on 93. So if Indominus Rex was on 100, it might have killed it. But luckily, that fight it had has really saved Sukumimus' skin. Unless it dies now, but I don't think it will. I think it might get off one hit. Either that or it'll run away. And he's running away. Okay, fair enough. I think it was very close. Yeah, 29%. <laughs> it did nothing to it. 
Wait, you guys can fight each other? Astrovenator, the victor of all the tiny cooks, is now taking on Alisson. It's just died. <laughs> he got too big for his boots and bit the dust. I did not expect to see that. Good God. All right, this could be it. The first loss for the herbivores in a while. Oh, and its mouth completely engulfed the whole entire side of the Woohoosaurus there. Such a shame. And now he's like, yeah, you see that? You see that? I did that. Me. <laughs> No one likes a show about her Indominus. That's why nobody wants you to win. All right, looks like the carnivores have decided to pay the herbivores a little bit of attention. And uh, Triceratops getting the first hit off against an Allosaurus. Just, you know, fresh off the heels. That, that Allosaurus just basically won in one hit against the Astrovenator, whatever it was called. And uh, yeah, gets hit by a Triceratops and runs away. How much damage? 63%. That's a load of damage from a Triceratops. Spinosaur killed Carcharodonosaur. Spinosaur killed this Carnotaurus there. What is that pose? Strike a pose. Strike a pose indeed. And something tells me this is the end of our poor Sukumimus brethren. Okay. Okay, maybe not. Goes for a single hit and it's okay. And the second hit, and it's still okay. Hasn't even hit the Indominus Rex back yet. Oh, there it is. Good on you. You know what? You got hit twice and you do a tiny little scratch. And down it goes. You know what? Fair enough. You did something. Okay, we got the Polacanthus against Sora Pelter. Very interesting. But also, more importantly, we got the Spinosaurus against the Albertosaurus. Again, Spinosaurus gets the first hit off. It's usually the second. Again, always the second seems to be the killing blow from the Spino. And how's it going with the Polacanthus and Sauropelta? Yeah! Are they actually gonna kill each other? I don't know. Polacanthus looking worse for wear, but there you go. Sauropelta wins. Brilliant. Sauropelta now has killed something and won two battles. And onto the Stegosaur against Nazuda Ceratops. Oh, straight in the neck with a Thagomizer. Oh! But can Nazuda Ceratops get a hit back? And oh no, two hits! Nazuda Ceratops, you know what? It knows how to take a punch. That's not the first time it's been hit twice in a row. I think, is it going to get a hit off back? Yeah, there you go. Dichimu's boss. But will the Stegosaur manage be able to finish it is the question. Nope, nope. Just going to let him go. Let him go. Keep the experience up. Well done. Two favorites now. Allosaur against Indominus Rex. Allosaur used to win in Jurassic World, World Evolution all the time for some reason. But then it just kind of hasn't been as strong in Jurassic World Evolution. And Indominus Rex, again, doling out two massive hits, just like it did to the Sukumimus. Allosaur does get to get one back, but could this be it? We see we see patterns emerging with each dinosaur, and there it is! Just like the Spinosaur kills in two hits, the Indominus Rex, well, does two hits, then gets it, and then finishes it, and Allosaur is out. Oh my god, what? Are you Lystra? You're Morus Intrepidus! You're still alive as well! <laughs> All the tiny carnivores have survived! No, Celia Physis died to a Trosseraptor! Oh no, they are actually fighting each other. It's just taken ages. I guess because they're all scared. Once the bigger carnivores started dying off, then they could start having their battles. And the proverbial punching bag, that was Nozutoceratops killed by Indominus Rex. Literally just knocking it over. Chomp, dead. Yeah, easy kill. Is this Spino against Stego? Oh, oh it is! Oh, this is interesting. Two favorites from Isla Sauna, but not a match for Spino, who sort of glitched into the ground and was drinking the ground, not water, and then was like, wait a minute, I need to fight you, and then killed it instantly. Oh, the tiny polar campers, no. It doesn't stand much of a chance, does it? Is it? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> this collapsed. The moment we have all been waiting for, Spinosaurus against Indominus Rex. Each one kind of undefeated. Oh, is Spinosaur gonna get his two-hit victory? Oh no, then the clash. Both taking heavy damages, but Indominus Rex out of there in two seconds. Whoa, you don't wanna mess with this Spinosaur, man. Good God, that was powerful. Only 86% damage and 10% on the Indominus Rex. Man, okay, I think we may have found a winner unless all of a sudden we can have an upset with like, I don't know, a Triceratops. Could you imagine? Oh no, 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 
Paraptor, don't do it! He killed the only copy! No! There's only nine dinosaurs left! He made it in the top ten! <laughs> Damn, wow. Copy surviving longer than T Rex and Indoraptor. That is amazing. I thought just that we might have a situation where we'll have loads of winners because the small carnivores and herbivores won't attack each other. But no, they, they, they just wait until the end to then start having their fights. Maybe we'll see something happen to Overaptor. I don't know. I could never find anything that would kill Overaptor properly. Oh, you know how I said about Triceratops being an upset? This is 100% health Triceratops against a 45% Indominus Rex. And if the... <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. This Triceratops just took all of the points that that Indominus Rex had. Oh, dear. Oh, no. What do you want now? What? It's already made one kill, and that was its one kill. Was Indominus Rex. Now, guys, we could be in a situation where Triceratops might kill Spino. I mean, that technically was Spino's kill. You know, Triceratops wasn't there. Spino would have killed it, but I'm really curious to see how this ends. And after our previous battle royales, I'm not saying anything. I, I just want to see it. I want to watch it unfold. We have Pyroraptor against Ostroraptor. This is it. I think this is the finale. Whoever's going to win this is then going to go on to kill Lystrosaurus and maybe Overaptor, I think? Oh, Ostro... Oh, sorry. Tr Ostroraptor. Atrociraptor won that one. That's it. Here we go. Triceratops versus Spino. I can feel it coming. I think Triceratops is getting in the, into the position. Yeah, this is it. Oh, we still got Sora Pelter over there. That's interesting. Okay. Spino against Triceratops. I, I'm going to hold my breath. I don't know how this is going to go. Oh, okay. Okay, Spinosaur gets the first hit off. Is it going to be a two kill as usual? No matter what the upset is, Spino going to always do it in two hits. Oh, try to and then hit on the side. Maybe a three. That's the first time it hasn't killed in two hits. And it's a three hit kill. Oh, I don't know what happened there. It sort of popped up. Oh, <laughs> very tall. But Spinosaur, even with Triceratops taking that victory away from it, has still won. There is only Sora Pelter now that stands in the way of Spinosaur becoming the victor. A dinosaur that has not lost a single battle. Nine victories at eight kills. Sora Pelter, did it last more than two seconds? Kind of like three, but really, it, it was going to die. It has defeated Indominus Rex. It's taken on so many other carnivores and has never lost a single battle. And I can't think of a better carnivore to make it into the finale. The only apex to have done it so far. Of course, we'll still go forward and add more. We do have some other dinosaurs in here that may die. We've still got Astro. It's after the, it's after the little Morris Intrepidus. I forgot about him. No, they just couldn't get away. So, just like the other victors, if you put a nickname for these, the Spinosaur and the Atrociraptor, in the comments down below, next time we do a Battle Royale video... Oh, never mind. The Atrociraptor died while trying to transport the Atrociraptor to the uh, thing. Spinosaur decided to kill it. Now, I deliberately did that the other way because I thought if I, you know, if I tranquilized the Spino, and then the Atrociraptor. There was a chance that the Atrociraptor would come over and kill it. So, you know what? I thought, why not? Let's do it this way. But it just so happened that the Spinosaur had one final trick to pull out of its sleeve, and that was to be the only winner of this battle royale, and that was to kill the Atrociraptor. <laughs> and off the only victor goes to the finale. At some point, when we do a couple more, we'll, you know, maybe get to 10 dinosaurs or something like that, and then we'll do one final, because I do want to make a new battle arena and just, like, make a different environment. But at the moment, we can only do this one, and I can't change it because it's been so many months that if I did eat something, the game crashes. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.